I wrote down later. My God, what have we done? Have you ever walked along a beach wondering about the origins of humanity's true hidden past? Have you ever found yourself thinking about the question, what are they hiding from us about the true mysterious anomalies of the origins of human civilization? Have you ever wanted to know the real truth about where we came from and where it all started? Nestled in the leafy northern suburbs of Sydney, Australia, lays the answer to one of the greatest mysteries of humanity's hidden past. A mystery that until now has been entirely missed by the independent true ancient history community and completely ignored by the archaeological establishment in their ivory towers of caviar and champagne, who continue to actively suppress this reality right up until this very day. A mystery so mysterious that this anomaly has been dismissed as a common memorial, a mere detail barely worthy of note, or so many with a vested interest would have you believe, when in fact it provides a smoking gun to confirm one of the most important discoveries of all time, the very origins of human civilization itself, origins so ancient that they not only predate the founding of Atlantis, they may even predate Plato himself, who wrote about Atlantis 10,000 years after it fell. For centuries now, a small group of so-called academics have been controlling the flow of knowledge so that the population remain ignorant to the truth of this planet's and humanity's hidden past. A group of individuals controlling the so-called prestige organisations that manipulate the population to preserve their monopoly and keep humanity in a constant state of fear and confusion. Responsible for all the wars and everything bad that has ever happened, this Kabul of archaeologists influenced the political and economic systems of the globe by appointing world leaders as puppet agents to their highly profitable cover-up of ancient history. Only being able to do so with a blend of lost ancient technologies that remain hidden and mysterious to everyone but themselves. A secret so dark that there are only tens of thousands of YouTube videos talking about it. Powerful devices and knowledge that is not the pinnacle of a slow development of science, but technologies that predate science and whose origins go back to the most ancient past. Technology so advanced and so in tune with the natural resonance that they offer the potential for free and limitless energy. Technologies that could liberate humanity from poverty and depression, and so is one of the greatest threats to the academic's domination of history departments and the immense budgets that mainstream archaeologists have at their disposal. So naturally, this is one of the major and most obvious reasons that these advanced technologies are kept hidden from the public who more and more are asking questions about the true origins of civilization and the secrets of humanity's hidden past. However, this veil is slowly beginning to crumble and we are now set to reveal the greatest discovery of all time. A discovery so profound that it will shake the current power structure to its very core and bring forth a new age of enlightenment and books by Eric von Daniken. Perhaps even a new season of Ancient Aliens, and possibly even the Mysteries of Oak Island. The most greatest of discoveries ever made being the site of the original monument of the original progenitor civilization that began it all. A mystery so mystifying in its impenetrableness that this ancient site and the monument at its heart may be the lost, last key in the puzzle that unwraps the riddle of the enigma what is the Great Sphinx of Egypt? Answering such age-old questions as Where did the Sphinx come from? How did the ancients of Atlantis move the Great Sphinx from Gobleki Tepe to Egypt? How old is it? And what is its true purpose? 
important questions ignored or suppressed by the archaeologists for millennia. The true riddle of the Sphinx may be finally solved. Could it be that the Great Sphinx is not the first Sphinx ever to be made, as the orthodoxy insists with their closed minds and limitless salaries that demand that you believe the official narrative? Is it possible that the origins of civilization and advanced ancient technology do not even come from the so-called region of the alleged Fertile Crescent? Have the true origins of humanity been hidden from us all along? and on the other side of the planet from where the mainstream archaeological establishment have been telling us for so long? The answer is yes, and it has been proven by science. The answer to this great riddle is not to be found in Africa, the Middle East, Asia, Europe, Antarctica, or even the before Americas. It has been found and it is on the lost island continent of Australis, on the outskirts of the alleged city of Sydney, the host of the 2000 Olympic Games, which surely can be no coincidence, I think not. All the clues being so obvious has to become an Uruburra snake eating its own tail, the unknowable being veiled in the all too clear until it vomits from its rear and poops from its mouth. To understand this mystery, we must first begin in the very centre of Sydney, Australia, we're in the so-called Hyde Park, as named by the orthodox historians, we find the first clues that explain the enigma of humanity's true hidden past. With not just one, but two obelisks, said to have been made in the modern era, or so the conspiratorial secret high table of archaeologists would have you believe. These two ancient obelisks being markers to direct the open-minded truth-seekers from the ancient harbour to the very centre of where all civilization began. The so-called Sydney Harbour being the main entrance point that serviced this once great but now suppressed pre-cataclysm super city of advanced ancient technology. In a time long, long ago the pre-ancient sailors would be guided by the largest of these obelisks, a mighty beacon that shone and sang its message over the seven seas and across the horizon to direct the ancient sage travellers from this perfect society back home after their long journeys to tame and educate the primitive peoples of the world out of their loincloth wearing ways. Bearing the most ancient symbol of this advanced civilization winged disc. This mighty obelisk has a hollow capstone that once contained an advanced, lost high technology crystal that emanated a brilliant light by night and a dark beam by day. A now lost ancient technology that can only be accessed by those privileged few with special clearance to the most forbidden parts of the Vatican archives. A secret so profound that the establishment mocks us with it as the Pope parades around in his mitre. No doubt a stylized presentation of this once great beacon for ancient sailors. Made of sandstone, the largest of these obelisks has a smaller twin of granite, also bearing the winged disc seal of the original civilization's priestly caste, now looked on as a mere memorial to honor William B. Daly scholar, patriot and diplomat. No doubt a member of the scholarly cartel that has kept these secrets of humanity's hidden past a forbidden secret for so long. Yet also providing another clue for those archaeologists initiated into the secret secrets by their all-powerful masters. Though also a beacon to those rogue truth seekers who dare to challenge the status quo on their mission to uncover the real story of humanity's hidden past. Using these two markers as a wayfinder, the brave rogue researchers of truth and seeking were able to decipher the true purpose of these obelisks and begin the journey north to the very centre and true origin 
the original origins of civilization to the suburb now allegedly known as Taramara, which is a piece of indigenous wisdom that only the ancient indigenous wisdom keepers of the Kemen Institute were able to properly decipher. Since the pre-colonial inhabitants of the area understood the importance of this place, and passed this knowledge down to their brethren in the Egyptian tour guide business, who preserved the real meaning of the phrase Taramara, or nothing to see here, why are you even here, what is your obsession with this forbidden side of mystery, seriously there's nothing special about this magical place, so stop trying to look, go away. However, instead of suppressing this sight, these ancient indigenous wisdom keepers were trying to protect it from the mainstream archaeological establishment that had been prophesized to arise and cover up everything interesting about the true origins of humanity's hidden past, something more and more people are becoming interested in since it is so highly compelling. But just wait until you hear this. Initially, the secrets of Taramara were protected for benevolent purposes. Yet with their evil cunning and unlimited resources, the archaeological mafia could no longer be withstood. And so it came to pass that the site fell into the hands of those who were not in tune with nature at 432 hertz, but the wicked 440 hertz international tuning standard which shifted the resonance of the Akashic records into a dimensional realm that unbalanced the divine structure constant, causing dream catchers across the globe to fail one by one until finally the disastrous shockwave led to the birth of disco, eventually culminating in the global outbreak of Saturday Night Fever and its much deadlier sequel variant, ironically titled Staying Alive. Make no mistake, this attempt to guard and block investigation by independent researchers into humanity's true hidden origins remains in place to this day. As to even approach this ancient location, you must first pass by a Masonic Lodge that has a blue compass and square emblazoned on its front wall. Blue being the mystic colour of the intoxicating lotus and the faience glass of ancient Egypt. Another reference only for the initiated, or for the most devoted rogue independent tour guide researchers into humanity's hidden past would be able to perceive, since its frequency in the hyper ultra mega violet spectrum resonates at 3, 6 and 9, and so is invisible to the naked eye. It was only through brave persistence that the rogue truth seekers were able to go further until they reached North Taramara and the boundary of the alleged Kuringai Chase National Park where they discovered the ancient wonder that lies within. The first and most advanced ancient technology Sphinx on the planet, predating the Great Sphinx and its corrupted form with a lion's body. This true, original Sphinx instead had the body of a bull and with a flattened, elongated head of a so-called human as a mainstream archaeological establishment that is hiding humanity's true hidden past would have you believe. To keep this ancient wonder hidden in plain sight, the mainstream historical orthodox authorities that control all of history and science have built a portal gate as both a ritualized edifice and a red herring, labeling this a memorial instead of an ancient monument to deter the locals and curious truth seeker visitors from entering to investigate the true origins of humanity's hidden past. Beyond the portal gate, and down an ancient polygonal basalt road now covered over, or more accurately, covered up by modern asphalt, one approaches this mysterious site and the unexplainable monument from its rear. A purposeful design, so to allow the priests and devotees time to acclimate 
to the immense organomasmic energy fields that radiate from its face. An energy so powerful that it manifests itself in this dimension as a black goo that can alter the very DNA of living creatures into mysterious and fierce hybrids, thus explaining the uniquely bizarre misupial life of Australia, as well as the incredible musculature of those animals who received the highest dosage back in the Zepgobleki Tepe, all the time before the guides of the fingerprint magicians has mentioned on the stone walls of a temple of Seti in Egypt. Entering the inner sanctum of this old of an ancient site, the magnificent Sphinx is flanked by two impossible to build with primitive hand tool pyramids. Yet they initially remain invisible, as it takes several weeks of intense meditation, watching podcasts about DMT, to tune the consciousness to the unique energy vibrating through this open air temple of the talisman magician gods of the shaman. Make no mistake, this is the true and original Sphinx from the original civilization from which all others emerged. Egyptologists such as Mark Lerner and Zawi Hawass being so fearful that the truth-seeking rogue researchers into humanity's true hidden past might make it known publicly that they have never even admitted it exists. A more telling proof of a vast global cover-up into humanity's true hidden past there cannot be. Though through the determination and bravery of those independent tour guides and authors working under the umbrella of the Kemet Institute, and especially the ancient wisdom keepers who founded this highly profitable enterprise, the truth has now begun to emerge as more and more people become aware of the mysteries of humanity's true hidden past and begin asking questions about the anomalies of the enigma of the lost ancient technology civilization. These rogue tour guides having secretly and silently been investigating this ancient riddle and after decades of careful and often very dangerous research they have finally begun coming forward to make their findings known to the growing numbers of the public who are interested in uncovering the truth of humanity's true hidden past and the anomalies that surround the official narrative of the origins of civilization. These rogue independent investigations have not only been able to penetrate the tight security surrounding this monument, they have also been able to measure it using state-of-the-art equipment and newly developed techniques to scientifically prove the unrelenting precision and flatness to which it was built. A level of technology that we are only now starting to be capable of. Or should I say, we are only now starting to rediscover. As not only is this monument so precise that it is light years ahead of space age capabilities, it is also made from a material so hard no tool on this planet at least is able to so much as scratch it let alone shape it to its current form something that we couldn't do until the development of diamond technology and computer guided cnc machines that aren't even able to do it to this day let alone the primitive tools such as copper chisels and stone pounders as the mainstream archaeological establishment keeps trying to shove down our throats the very same all-powerful establishment that won't even acknowledge that this site exists, let alone tell us what tools were supposedly used. The contradictions are staggering, but more and more people are beginning to ask questions about the true origins of humanity's hidden past. What is even more remarkable is that by studying the nearby Gosford glyphs and translating those most ancient of texts, the highly rogue scholars of the Kemet Institute have uncovered that not only did the dynastic Egyptians visit this part of Australia in the distant past, they also left writings that predate their visit by several millennia, going back to a period at least as far back as Meltwater Pulse 1A, an event that flooded the entire globe at the end of the last ice age as confirmed by the continuous spiral grooves on the famous Core 7, 
as noted by the luminary Egyptologist Matthew Flinders Petrie. Yet more amazing than all these impossible to do with modern technology technical feats, the rogue scholar independent researchers of the Institute de Comet were also able to decipher the glyphs of Gosford, using that knowledge to find the true name of the original Sphix. Its true name in the original mother tongue of all civilizations being Atakrep, translated into English that being the bull sphinx of high intensity technology. Make no mistake, these and other remarkable discoveries will be detailed in the next chapter, as well as the remarkable story of cover-ups, bravery and clandestine investigative operations to uncover the true origins of humanity's hidden past as well as a Netflix-worthy saga of a struggle to make this known to the public, a public that is only now becoming more aware of the mysterious anomalies and enigmas about the true origins of civilization and the mystery of humanity's hidden past. Stay tuned. I wrote down later. My God, what have we done?